people are gonna love this. But you're, um, you have a long history of persevering through injuries, mm -hmm. through insane amounts of injuries. Uh, My ability to tolerate pain is probably more than most people. But see, injuries aren't just pain, right? It's like, um, it's also mental, like psychological. Like again, like the weight cut, it can make a lot of people quit. Yep. Can you tell your history of injuries? What are the biggest injuries, the toughest injuries in your career? Um, Starting from what, your early teens? My early teens, um, I actually got out of sports from 11 to I wanna say like 15 years old, 16 years old, because a kid shot a double leg through my kneecap and I partially tore all the ligaments in my knee, cartilage, meniscus, the whole nine yards. And I had to learn how to walk again. I spent two years in a leg brace, crutches, you know, hobbling around the schoolyard. That one was a challenge to come back from. Um, I've broken most of my ribs. I won nationals with nine broken ribs. I was actually getting Novocaine shots into my chest to avoid feeling the pain and then wrapping them to try to make sure I didn't pop a lung. Um, I broken my collarbone. Um, I have five herniated discs in my neck. I fractured my back twice. I've broken my tailbone. I tore my SI joints. I've torn my right hamstring twice, my left one once. Um, broken my ankles a few times. I spun it once in a 360 that had deaf surgery. Fingers, toes, elbows, shoulders. So, so, so all of these are, first of all, you're um, you're tough, you're a tough dude, man. Uh, so each of those have a story behind them. So if you're talking about the collarbone or the ankles, uh, uh, or or the back, the neck. Is there interesting stories here that uh, behind these injuries? Hard training, hard competing, jujitsu, judo, um, so uh, ground stuff like uh, sparring in the dojo or like drilling or all that kind of stuff. Is what, what, if you were to sort of break it down, your understanding of this, the landscape of injuries you went through? I've never had one in jujitsu, ever. I mean, I might've like torn a fingernail or like, you know, gotten key burn, but I've never been like seriously injured. I know when Ponza straight ankle locked me at Copa Podio, that hurt, but I wasn't injured. Like it felt sore, mm -hmm. but like if I had to run, like I could run. I can now understand probably exactly where the injuries came from then. You were very quickly excelled at jujitsu you have achieved another level in judo. And I yeah. think that means the intensity with which you approach judo to achieve that world-class level probably is the source of the injuries. Yeah, because the mentality of how I approach judo versus jujitsu, jujitsu to me is like a game that like we would play. Yeah. Like if you wanted to like grab a basketball and like go play a game of one-on-one, -on -one, that's like jujitsu to me. Like I can't take the sport in its entirety seriously because I feel like the community of jujitsu doesn't take it seriously.